So you're looking at moving to Vancouver, BC and buying a home and your budget is 1.8 to $2 million. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today, some homes within that price range that you can move into here in Vancouver, BC. I'm here at Playland, which is right beside the PNE, the Pacific National Exhibition Center, which is a fair that's happened in Vancouver for over a hundred years now. And the PNE, they have shows, they have concerts, they have uh, petting zoos for the kids to be able to take advantage of. They have rides. And here at Playland, obviously, this is going to be your roller coasters, the big rides, the elevator, the getting thrown up in the air and coming right back down super fast, the spinning ones that I can't stand and can't do any more than two circles on before I need to take a break with the kids. And uh, obviously, Playland here, it's an amazing spot to be able to take the kids if you are just coming to Vancouver as a visit. And I'm here on a Monday right now, so they are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but they're open during the day from Tuesday to Sunday, and then they have later night times that they are open from uh, I believe it's 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. And But, you know, you're going to get a little bit of a, a later crowd, uh, a lot more kind of teenagers during that time frame as well, so it depends kind of the vibe that you want when you come here. But an amazing spot to come to, to be able to entertain, to be able to get away from the city and just have a great time, have the popcorn, have the snacks, and then get dizzy and nauseous on some of the rides here. All right, so like I said, we're gonna dive into some of the homes here that you can purchase here in the Vancouver area between 1.8 and $2 million. So let's dive into it right now. We're here at our first location to be able to show you some of the homes that you can get between 1.8 and $2 million. And we're here in the Fraser and 31st area here and pretty central in the Vancouver area. And one of the best things about this area is you are literally one and a half blocks away from your immediate amenities and shopping needs. So you have Shoppers Drug Mart, literally just a block and a half away. No frills grocery shopping is again, right beside that on the same block along with Canada Post. Then you have your other basic amenities from your fitness of F45, you have Prado Coffee uh, just down the street from there, you have your aesthetics, you have your dentist, you have your chiropractor, and then there's pizza and uh, Filipino food, Vietnamese food, bubble tea, all those basic essentials in terms of being able your basic enjoyment of daily living is here as well. Uh, then you just have a, a block away to Grace Park where it has a couple of tennis courts, be able to take the dogs uh, out to be able to run there. So super convenient that way. You also have the cemetery, which is just two blocks away. Some people are thrown off by that. Um, some people are totally okay with it. It is two blocks away, so it's not within viewing distance, it doesn't take up any property, uh, but then it has some super quiet area. If you wanna have some separation from the city, obviously very quiet there. And then you're about a 20 minute walk from Queen Elizabeth Park as well, which is extremely popular and really a great spot to be able to go. Um, but our home that we're looking at is right behind me here, right here. And that is listed at 1.898. And it basically, it was it's 113 years old. It's 1,750 square feet and it breaks down to the price of being about $1,056 per square foot. Now, this home is actually 113 years old. However, they extensively renovated it, basically a gut in 1996, and they actually raised the entire house up so they could build in a one-bedroom suite in the bottom that had eight-foot ceilings. And so now you have a mortgage helper, uh, one bedroom down on the bottom, and then the upper part of the house is nine-foot ceilings, again, extensively renovated throughout. Uh, and they did a really, really really good job with it. So uh, this is kind of one of the aspects in this area that you can look at. Again, 1.898, uh, sorry, 848. So you're kind of a $1,850,000 range. All right, so let's drive by the area and give you an idea of what some of the other homes in the area around it are. For the second home on our list, we're in the Renfrew area, which is just literally a three minute drive away from Playland and the PE where we started this video. And this home is a five bed, three bath, 2,751 square feet. And it brings the price per square foot for this property at 687 a square foot. So they are very likely gonna be uh, trying to generate multiple offers as this is definitely a lower price point, especially on the per square foot basis as what you'll get in most of the city. Now, one of the big pros of this property, and let me just make sure I show it to you right here, 
right here. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot on the outside. Again, it's been super dry here lately, so it's not nearly as green as it typically is. But the big benefit of this property, it's got four beds on the main in the main floor of the house, and it actually has two suites. And it's got a one bedroom suite, full kitchen, and the unique part is the second suite, I wouldn't really consider it a legal suite in the sense is that literally it doesn't have a kitchen. So it just has a sink and then a hot plate basically in a small mini fridge. So you wouldn't probably be a little bit harder to rent that out long term, but what it could operate as is a, an easy Airbnb rental. And you know, nice and cheap, it doesn't have a full kitchen and still that's additional investment income that you can get on that property as well. So that's definitely a bonus of this. Um, right now where we are as well, we're also literally just a few blocks away from Hastings and you literally have all your big banks within like a two block uh, radius of your BMO, your RBC, your TD, your CIBC, all the big banks are here. You got your pizza, you got your sushi, and you got a, a several other kind of unique uh, boutique stores, whether it's services like dental and aesthetics uh, to your random clothing stores and thrift stores and things like that. So you got a big eclectic mix along Hastings and you're really just uh, two, two blocks there and you're also two blocks away from Templeton Secondary School as well. So being able to access that, that greenery and that, that park space, if you have a dog or if you want to go for a run around the track there that's something you can get take advantage of and here's just a side look at this property here and some of the patio space that someone on the ground floor is going to be able to take advantage of all right let's uh cruise around the area and take a look at some of the homes around this one All right, we are out to our third property now, and we're actually back where we started our video right by Playland and the PNE. So one of the best parts about this location for this uh, third home that we're looking at is we are right beside Oxford Park here, which is literally this building right here is the PNE. And that's also where my son and I, we went and saw Monster Jam earlier this year with the monster trucks, which is fantastic. Highly recommend getting some, make sure you get some earmuffs for the kids on that one. Uh, super, super loud with the trucks in there. But in terms of being able to have access to this area immediately right across the street from your place is just a, a great opportunity. Now, obviously you can tell the grass is a little bit drier here because it has been a hot summer for us with very little water. So the grass is pretty dry here compared to what Vancouver is normally like. Now let's dive into our home, which is right here. Now it's a pretty small home looking, looking from the outside, but this is actually a four bed, three bath home, almost 2,100 square feet, 2,085 square feet, lands in at $1.979 million, which puts you at about $949 a square foot. And one of the nice things about this one is this actually has a two bedroom legal suite in it plus a den plus an office so it also has a roughed in kitchen so if you wanted to spend a little bit of extra money and have that ability to do some renovations you could actually shrink that two bedroom down a little bit more and have a two bedroom legal suite plus a two a one small one bedroom in there as well so that's an option to be able to do an extra value add and have a little bit more help on the mortgage side of things so that's a, one of the best things about this area again is the park. You are right beside the, the P&E and being able to jump into Playland there as well because sometimes parking uh, can be a pretty tough one during the summer here as well. So uh, you got a great park there for the kids to be able to run around. You got the opportunity to be able to just take the dog out for a walk right out to the park right across the street and uh, being able to take advantage of being able to have a strong mortgage helper in this home. Again, that's listed at 1.979 million. So let's jump on to our last property. All right, we're coming up on our final property of this tour that you can get for just under $2 million. This one is listed at $1.998 million dollars now the location of this property is just by fraser and 10th couple of blocks off of fraser and 10th is is a main bicycle route for throughout the entire city of vancouver so if you are a cyclist you're going to be using 
uh, bicycle to be able to commute. That is a great opportunity. You literally just go out your front door and you are on a great uh, route all the way through across the city of Vancouver. You're also one block off of Broadway, which is again, another main straightaway that goes all the way across the city of Vancouver. And in terms of your access to transit, it's gonna be super easy to be able to get anywhere that you want. Now, the other aspect here, let's get you a little bit better lighting. This is the home that we're talking about at 1.998. So it is a half duplex, three bed, three and a half bath home. 1,780 square feet, and that puts the price per square foot at about $1,122 a square foot. So brand new build. So one of the other things that you get with a brand new build is your home builder's warranty. So a 2510 warranty on the labor, the materials, and the structure of the building over the course of that time as well. Now, one thing with a new build is you do have to pay GST on top of that. So whatever the purchase price is, then you have 5% on top of that. So technically you'd be paying a little bit more than $2 million for this property once you add in the GST side of things. Um, in another video, I'm actually gonna do a walkthrough on this property. So you can go and check that out after this video. Now, the location of this area can be a pro and a con for some people because you're actually, it's extremely quiet here. And the reason for that is even down on Broadway, uh, just one block away, it's all residential along that strip. And you go up to 12th, which is another uh, main straightaway through here. It's all residential on either side of those main, main arterial roads. So in terms of access to amenities, uh, you don't really have great access to amenities immediately within walking distance. You're looking at a minimum 15 minute walk and that will bring you to either the commercial Canada line uh, Skytrain station or you're going to be walking over the other way towards Main Street and that's going to give you into Kingsgate Mall and kind of the all the amenities around Main Street and Broadway there so which is also going to be where one of the upcoming new Skytrain stations is going to be as well so you got a little bit of a walk in terms of that way going back and forth so one way for commuting, other way for commuting, you're kind of right smack dab in the middle there. So um, that can be a pro or a con. The other aspect is just a few blocks down, there also is China Creek South Park. So a great spot, again, if you have a dog or you, you wanna be able to run them around or be able to take the kids, they have a nice playground there. Uh, and also a little skateboard park. It's a very small one. So if you're wanting to get the little kids to be able to kind of practice down there, that's a great opportunity as well. So there you have it, everybody. That is your tour of homes that you can get between 1.8 to $2 million here in the Vancouver area. If you have any questions or you are looking to move to the greater Vancouver area and you wanna find a little bit more about the different types of homes in your budgets and the types of properties that you can purchase and whether you're looking at moving in nine days or 90 days, our, our team, we get calls, we get texts, we get emails from people every single day that are interested in wanting to make a move to the group Vancouver or the greater Vancouver and surrounding suburb area. So please give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email and or schedule a Zoom call and we'd be happy to chat and help you make a smooth move here to the Vancouver area. All right, we'll see you on the next video.